Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, today I am going to show you how to create login screen or you can say login without entity framework core or you can say uh, just use uh, ADU.NET technologies that are just before a entity framework core. So here we have a login screen that is a username and the passwords. Okay, so uh, here we have a admin at the rate of gmail.com and the passwords is like that. This is the login screen and this is the registration screen you can say this is the registration screen and that is also a uh, you can say this this is also a uh, without entity framework code. So first of all just I am going to discuss about the bookstore DB. So in the bookstore DB um, here we have a tables related to the users. So just as expanding the tables first of all and wait for some time. It will taking few seconds to uh, to expanding nodes of the table, and here I'm using uh, ad.net technology like uh, SQL uh, connection class, uh, uh, command class, data adapter, data set, and data reader, etc. So uh, wait for some time, and I'm going to discuss all these topics one by one. So first of all, just I am going to discuss bookstore DB and here we have a uh, login patient controller. So just that uh, create a login action method and according to the login action method, here we have a view for the uh, related uh, like that a login screen. So here we have a username and the passwords according to the login view model. So just go for the login view model, go to definition, username and the password. Okay, so here we have just asking username and the password and when we click on the submit button, then login partial post action method will be called like this is the get action method and here we have a login view model that is the, uh, <coughs> you can say it's a post action method of the login view model where we have username and the passwords okay so just before this time going to uh, design uh, bookstore db where table is expanding and waiting for much time to expanding the nodes okay and the next one is just i'm going to discuss string is null or empty vm dot username and vm dot password suppose if you want to leave this uh, username and the passwords from here, uh, then return view. I mean to say that just return the login screen again. Okay. If it is not uh, empty or not null, then uh, sign in method. So just use the sign in method. Uh, that is a math method. It is manually created method. So just go to the definition with the username and the passwords. So here we have a boolean flag value will be added. Okay and the query is select star from user table and where username is this username and the password is like that you password or manually checked okay and uh, user detail is <coughs> helper dot get user by username so inside that you can just paste the query so uh, user details is what underscore the helper dot get user by username so go to definition again and you can say that uh, here we just return the user view model okay so get a user by username that string of query and user view model that is user new user view model connection string is created uh, under the uh, app settings transition file right here you can see the same string that is uh, created in uh, ASP.NET Core. Uh, okay, so the next one is okay and gets by username. Go to definition. Okay, so here we have a user view model connection string SQL connection. Just paste the connection string right here and connection dot open SQL query, connection command SQL and connection 
and what is the SQL command that is the query where, where is the past is from here okay and SQL data reader so command dot execute reader while data reader dot read and all these data will be read by ID username and the password email data uh, name contact number address and the role ID so just retrieve all these and just connection close and return user and what is actually inside in the user view model so go to definition and right here you can say user view model here we have ID username email password name contact number address and role ID after you can say that uh, uh, go to definition again and here you can see that uh, user view model just return the user view model underscore helper uh, common helper class and you can say this is common helper class okay user view model so uh, in the login partial page helper dot get user by username so here we have a user details like name email password username etc role query is what select star from role that where id is this user detail dot role id so uh, if you if you are getting role id from this table user details dot role id so just get the role of the table after that get entity by id by using the role query so go to definition again and you can say that single entity and what is a single entity you can say go to definition again and you can say that id and the name you just want to retrieve it okay so id and the name the role query so role is there the role view model vm new role view model id and the name from the getting the real name and here we have user detail dot username is not equals to null then flag is set to true vm dot name is admin if it is vm dot name is admin then add this role as well as username in the session okay and view bag error username and the password wrong okay if it is null then then send the value in the boolean type that is true and the false so a written flag value if it is uh, if it is false then uh, sign in method that required username and the password is wrong otherwise it is true so just again go to the login uh, partial page and you will see that here we have is fine is find is true then redirect to action index page otherwise that is the default page and return view login if it is false then return view to the login page so this is the login page actually do and here we have a role table and the user table and you can see that here we have default uh, some data so edit top 200 rows then you will see uh, what inside it here if you are using hash passwords so there we have the role id is one two and one two and what inside it in the role uh, go to uh, edit top 200 rows and admin and the user so uh, here you can say that admin is the like admin at the rate of cmail.com and the password is like that so just go for that and click to login username and the password is wrong so admin oops password and the <coughs> username is wrong so username is what username is admin only it's not an email it's manually checked by the username okay so a e admin and the password is So here we have so this is the admin you can say and check the bookstore like if you want to add some books and etc so this is the login screen 
okay so uh, if you want to complete uh, the issue 